Good morning. Hello. How's breakfast? Delicious. Mmm. So scrambled eggs with spinach and cheese and some bacon and Texas Pete. I have Texas Pete. Of course. We've made the annual trek up to Denver with this little guy. Coda is at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Ryan is concentrating and is sad because Coda couldn't come because she's not a small dog. They're discriminating against weight. <laughs> They're not. She's her size. She would win everything. She's too big. But Gary, it, we are on our way to the annual Doctoberfest. This is Gary's third year. Third year in Doktoberfest. <coughs> and he's three. Oh, Gary. Just turned three. He's an old man. He's an old man. So he's gonna be racing. We have a costume for him. I don't know if we'll get there in time to sign up for the costume contest, but if not, oh well, it's okay. Right? Weren't they sticklers about it last year? We were like five minutes late. They're like, you can't send them for the costume yeah. contest. Yeah, because they take it like right away. They take the form to sign up. You have to just write down and fill it out. So, all right, we're gonna walk in. We'll show you Gary and his race ready. He's getting race ready. He's race ready to jump out the car too. Gary, are you so excited? You ready? Come on, Gary, come on. Huh? Come on, Gary. most excited for it. Nah, the race. I'm just going to tour it. Costume contest. Costume contest or the race? Race. What do you think, Gary? Race? Are you race ready? <laughs> yeah, he's there. There's so much action here, Mom. Please let me off my leash. Now, now they're starting the parade over there. <clears throat> <laughs> He's a digger. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Look at this guy. Is the silliest Daisy? dog Daisy? costume. <gasps> Could we My have mom's all dog the entrants Westy is named Daisy. selected <laughs> yeah. for the Hi, silliest dog? Hello, Gary. Ready? Gary. Hi. <laughs> you just want to be held. Okay. For our silliest dog uh -huh. costume, he just wants to be touched. We're going to have four winners. Oh. In fourth place, we have the mermaid. Chelsea the Mermaid. <laughs> costume judges, we have seven entries. Okay, seven. Not six, not eight, but seven. All right. Look at this. Mad dog, penitentiary dog, copper. <laughs> Sorry, Poppers, it looks like going to the big house. Okay, our next up is Rocky. Clear, Rocky. Rocky Green Greenly. Our next contestant is Bowie McBee. Bowie, come on down. Is this David Bowie? <laughs> oh, Frankenstein today. Or Frankenweiner. Or, or some best male costume, Bowie McBee. Nice dude, Bowie. 
<laughs> Must spend hours doing his hair. <laughs> Our next one up is Archibald. Hey, Archibald. Oh, he's wearing later hosen. Oh. Come on, Archibald. Atta boy. Our next up in the best male costume is Augie. Uh-oh, we need some shark, shark music. Land shark. Come on, Augie. Contestant number six is Vinny. Fisher. Obviously, it's gotten into the whole Dashtoberfest spirit. And so is the owner, I might add. Next entry is Gary Chewbacca. Gary Chewbacca. <laughs> Gary Chewbacca. <laughs> nice job, Gary. Harry costume. <laughs> yeah. Look at the little steins. That's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Can we have all the contestants come on out? Come on up. Yeah. And you'll get your pictures taken. And we can announce the winners. Our fourth place winner was Bowie McVie, Frankie Wiener. In third place, we liked a Vinny, the German Wiener. Terminator. <laughs> In second place, Chewie from Star Wars, Woo! Gary. Good job, Gary. <laughs> and our first place winner is the bad boy, <laughs> Frederick Von Puffers. That's what I always threaten my dogs with. You're going to go to prison if you don't behave. <laughs> Second place is Tilted. Buddy, Boo Boo, Ricky. Buddy, Boo Boo, Ricky. Ricky, Buddy, Boo Boo. Good job. Good job, Brian. Good job, Gary. You won second place. I think it was a first place costume, though. Yeah. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> no. Oh, Gary got second place. Yes, sir. Buddy. Okay, our uh, next one. Are we all good? Alright, look forward, sweeties. We'll just do it as many as we can. Someone's being rather needy today. Yes, they are. Why are you so needy today? Oh. Huh? What's your problem? Just resting up in the shade here for... The race time. <laughs> Getting race ready. Resting in the shade. <laughs> Are you race ready? So last year, what? He would have won that whole heat, like the final heat, he won the race, right? And then they disqualified that one dog, or they just said that one dog jumped. Yeah, and so they had to re-race. And by the time that we were ready to re-race, 
Gary was just like, I'm gonna try to eat these other dogs. Yeah, he started to lose interest and started getting interested in the other dogs. Yeah. Oh, Our races Jackson, will be so. starting momentarily. Awesome time though. I know. Oh, look. Our first fun. group this afternoon is our special needs group. Any breeze? Gary, are you race ready? Race ready? Are you race ready? Race ready, Mom. Race ready. <laughs> so are all these other dogs. Huh? Oh, he wants his toy. Oh, yeah. That is not your toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go find the... Oh, Gary! Wound. Start over. This guy's getting wound up. He saw a squeaky toy. Yeah. Uh -oh. Now he won't stop. Oh, he's ready to win. <laughs> yeah, he Champion is. right there. Champion. <laughs> That Racer X Doxies one through four years semifinal. I won, I won, I won. First place. Good job. <laughs> Calling in the tent. Heat five. Racer X. Caribou. Tink. Lulu. And Bernie. And Sir Sammy Oliver. Gary. <laughs> Our next race is heat number four of the Racer X group. <laughs> Hey, no, get out of there. <laughs> final. You made it to the final race. Good job, Carrie. He's all amped up. Now he's ready to race again, even though he just he just finished his races. Now he's ready to race. <laughs> all right, tough guy. Let's go home. We're back home from Doctoberfest, and Ryan is going to smoke. Look at this guy, nine pound That's pork. What is it? Pork butt or pork shoulder? I think it's the same thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think pork butt and pork shoulder are similar because I think it's the back shoulder. So it's like the pork's this area. Like upper thigh thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But so it's bone in. Rump. And that thing is huge because we got to the place late and so they weren't that's all they had. And we're smoking it overnight, so we're I'm gonna put it on here in about a half hour or so. And then it'll go on our Traeger wood pellet grill mm -hmm. that we love overnight. And what uh, what time? So it'll be a 13 or 14 hour roast. So that's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll be done-ish. Right before the game. And then we're gonna make- Go Broncos! We're gonna make um, green chili and tacos. And what else? Are we gonna make anything else with it? Uh, I think we got some chicken wings. Oh yeah. You have to have chicken wings. Though. Chicken wings. Well, we're not gonna make with the pork though. Whatever else are we gonna make with it? Yeah, the pork's more like dinner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. By the time it sits and rests. So for the game, yeah, for the, game, yeah, for the, the green chili, we're just doing the green chili for our tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll have some chicken wings for the actual game, 
um, and probably some sort of side. I'm gonna make my curried chicken salad because I've been craving that. I've been wanting some chicken salad for lunch lately. So I'm gonna do that. But other than that, I think we're gonna call it a night. So we hope you enjoyed seeing us at the Doctoberfest. I thought it was pretty fun. I had a blast today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my trailer smoking. So we're gonna relax and then we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.